I'm going to install a runner kit on my Pelican Trek 60 uh, sled. There it is right there. Also comes with instructions if you care to read them. I kind of gave them a go over. So to start off this installation, what they ask you to do is to basically drill a pilot hole on the underside here uh, at half inch. So you mark, put a mark in at half inch on the runner kit. I don't know if you can see that. I already put a little mark on it. Uh, the sled is pre-marked on the underside as well. I'm not sure if you can see this, but you got holes that we're going to drill out. I think with a 3 16 bit, they're all pre-marked along the bottom of the sled. So we'll uh, do the pilot holes on these to get started and then we'll uh, get it going, alright? Okay, so I'm going to get myself started here drilling pilot holes. I measured uh, each of these runners in at half inch. That is done. Okay, now that I've got the uh, holes drilled in at the half inch point at the end of the runners, I set those aside and then I'm going to go with my 3 16 bit and start uh, doing the holes in the sled. There's 18 in total. Kind of nice that they have these all, all marked. And that's all you're doing, just drilling them out. And just like that, we've got 18 holes. Now time to fasten the one end to the sled. So what they want you to do is that pre-drilled hole, these are marked in at half inch, so you gotta flip this over and put a screw in so you can bend it around. Okay, I'm gonna start by installing the first runner at my drill point. I've already started to screw in the back side here. It's probably best to have two people doing this job, but I'm gonna give it a go because I'm stubborn that way. So now I've started that in there and you're supposed to bend this around one is to wonder will that pop out okay now that I've got the first runner on because I'm gonna go one at a time here just so I don't have three of these things flopping around so I've already got this one fastened so they want you to bend this down I've seen some people suggest that using either a hair dryer or a heat gun to heat this up so you can bend it around this curve. So we're gonna give that a try. My trusty Wagner gun here. But be careful not to get too close. Because you don't want to melt anything. She's slowly starting to bend now. Works like a charm. Just for getting this to bend around the curve. The curve I want. Alright, so here's my screws, and all you gotta do is use your hand driver and drive them in one at a time. The nice thing about the runners, I'll show you here, there's this nice little, nice little groove right down the center here. So when you put the screws in, it centers itself quite nicely actually. I hate that I gotta do this by hand. So I won't, uh, I won't put you through watching all this. Because it is quite boring watching somebody screw a screw in. Alright, as you can see, 
there's one of the runners on there now. It's perfect. So now I'll get the uh, second one started. Looks not too bad. On there pretty solid. The heat gun worked great for bending this curve. Nice. I love it. Okay, so again, get your holes started and then drive the screw in. Since I already got the pre-drilled hold there. There you go. Feel that. Like I said, it's not the easiest thing to do by yourself, but it is doable. We got that in. Slide the sled back down. Let's get our trusty heat gun out again. But this does make for ease of installing this kit. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty right there. Still good and warm. So now, the back. Make sure you got this thing lined. Drive your screws in. So now I'm going to put on this last runner and get in back here. Just like that. coming along pretty good. Perfect. As you can see right now, all the screws, the bottom of the sled, looking good. There is the Pelican Trek 60 runner kit. Alright, one other thing I wanted to do here with the sled is I use some of this stuff on my uh, on my boat. It's a wash and wax all by Aero Cosmetics. And that would probably help um, when you're trudging through some deep snow where the snow might not stick. But uh, like I said, this is all just a theory. I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes um, and go from there. Actually making it look new again. Better not get any of this on the floor or end up uh, slipping and falling. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was uh, useful for you.